G'day folks, welcome back to the channel for the last video of the Aether Skeleton Ritualist build playthrough. Uh, this is going to be a compilation video of a lot of the main drops that I got while I was farming for the end build here, um, as well as a couple of fights that I thought were interesting. Um, yeah, so clip compilation video, and uh, this will be the last time you see the Skeleton Boys actually, because um, they're all going away with the final build. But uh, anyway, let's get on with the clips. Just making a little clip here just to show the elapsed time at one day, eight hours and half an hour, uh, level 100 on the Ritualist. I have been farming for one hour after I hit the, um, the level cap. So one day, seven hours, 30 minutes-ish. There's probably five or 10 minutes difference there. But I uh, just wanted to make this little clip to remind myself and to show how long it took. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the first piece of the gold set has just dropped, and it is the chest piece. So, we're at uh, 1 day 8 hours 34, and there's the gold set chest. Okay, I'm bringing you back because I found me a Kubacabra. So, I'm gonna go play with him. This is still the same build, um, exactly the same as when I hit level 100. It's been, what, an hour and a half-ish? since I hit level 100, and uh, yeah, I've just run into my first nemesis, so we're going to go and play with him, see what happens. Um, I do think it's important for when you're fighting a nemesis that you clear the area as best you can, I say as that just immediately doesn't happen. For Kuba, don't stand in these, um, and actually I'm going to manually order my pets around for this, so... Let's see if this even works. I suspect this is not going to be easy. <laughs> Skellies are all dead. Okay, that's fine. Uh, no, it's not fine. Everybody over here. Come on. The general method for killing Kubacabra is to just kite him until eventually he dies. Uh, he will just keep splitting over and over and over again. Um, let's see, all the pets are dead again, so that's fun. Do try and keep him out of the bleeding pools, and do try and keep yourself out of the bleeding pools as well if you can. And ideally, you want to have as few Kubacabras running around as you can. Um, that does mean that you should be targeting your pets. As best you can. Um, running away is really not a good way to fight him. Alright. We're making some progress. We're not dead yet, which is good. Um, he is, however, healing in those blood pools. Alright, kill the small one. Okay, I got one of the small ones down, that's good. I'm gonna resummon all of the pets again. Okay, kill this guy. I think we've managed to do it. Uh, it was messy. This was definitely Definitely the messiest kill of Kubo I've ever had, but uh, you can kill him as a fresh level 100 with just the gear you had leveling up. Just uh, kite him around, stay out of the blood pools, and uh, keep resummoning. Eventually, he'll die. I'm shocked that it wasn't me that died there, to be honest. <laughs> Good times. Alright, see you in the next clip. Alrighty, so I've got myself a Celestial Totem here. Now, these are fairly dangerous, so uh, I'll show you why. These things, they'll attack you. These things will attack you. Okay, it's not going to attack me. This is definitely a lot of goop on the ground as well, though. Um, actually, this wasn't too bad. I expected this to be more difficult, more dangerous. Okay, I'm going to add these to my farming list. Um, because the reason we are here... Do I have one on me? Uh, we want the Celestial Lotuses for flipping set items, but uh, I guess I didn't get one this time, so that'll come up in, uh, in a later section. 
Alrighty, I have found Valdoran the Storm Scourge for the first time on this character. Um, as you can see, all the gear is still the same. This is basically a fresh 100. Um, I do know he shreds a lot of lightning resistance. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much, but uh, I'm going to drink some pots for that. This is just Royal Jelly, um, more regen, which I hope I won't need, but we will see. Um, let's see if we can't get him to come down here and play without all the uh, ethereals up there. Um, we should be able to get close. He should chase us. Um, a lot further than the ethereals will. Yep, here we go, he's active now for sure. Alright. Let's see if we can run into the next room. Oh, he's not coming. That's alright, we'll kill these guys off and then uh, see if he's gonna follow us. Uh, yep, he's decided to jump in there. Turn the loot off, I don't care about loot at the moment. Uh, pets are dying, okay. Yeah, we need to get new pets. Uh, he does swap locations with you as well. Alright. Let's see if he swaps us again. Alright. So that's Valdoran down. Um, I didn't show the loot from the... Uh, Cupacabra kill. I think I got a purple, but it was not something that was any good for the build. So we got Razin's shoulder guards here, and um, what's that one? Stormbearers. And the Seal of Annihilation. So, there we go. Fresh level 100 uh, takes down Valdoran. Alrighty, let's do some transmuting. Now, when you come into the transmuting thing, make sure you tell it that you want to turn a set piece into a another random set. Um, if you have it on this one, um, if it costs you Eldritch Essence, uh, it's the wrong one. It'll give you another piece of the same set. So you want it to be on this one here. And it will cost you a Celestial Lotus. If you are running very short on these, you want to go do Celestial Totems. Um, so we've got three spins of the, the uh, wheel here. Let's, uh, let's see how we go. So Blight Lord's Mantle, not really what we're interested in. The Infernal Knight's Pauldrons. And Valga's touch. Unfortunately, no dice. Alrighty, welcome back to normal difficulty to reroll some more uh, set items. So uh, I've got seven rerolls here. Um, 150,000 bits a pop means this is going to cost us over a million bits. But um, fingers crossed, we get something nice. So uh, first shot is the Iskandra's hood. Then we have the mantle of Drig, uh, Blood Rage's cowl. This one is the June Fiend's Mask. Uh, the first item of that lot that isn't used by a character I already have is the Barrelsmith's Salvo. Then we have Gull's Mantle. Okay, we finally got one that I want. And uh, unfortunately I don't have another set, so um, I'm going to keep my last flower and go farm some more stuff. Alrighty, welcome back for some more Transmute Roulette. Um, let's go ahead and put it on the right one. So I've got six flowers. Um, that's going to translate into almost a million bits, 900,000. Let's see what we get. Okay, Spell Scourge Visor, no. Perrin's Visage, no. Allagast Mantle, no. Autist, no. Beast Caller's Talisman, okay. Uh, I'm going to hang on to that one. Alright, and just for something different, I'm going to show a Celestial Totem. So here we go. So basically, I am ordering my pets to kill these one at a time. Turn that off. And hopefully, whoop, taking a bit of damage there. The idea is basically you uh, kill them off one at a time so you take less damage. Alright. What did we win? We've got Goals Reach. Gloves. Okay, that's pretty good. Glad I decided to record this one. And um, Scion of Crimson Wakes, which is meh. Turn it into bits, I think. There we go. Um, so that's the uh, the girls' gloves. I think we're up to three pieces of that set now. So it's pretty nice. Um, see you in the next clip. Okay, just finished up another one, and I just wanted to point this out. See, this reputation bonus: seventy-five with the cult of Bismil, seventy-five with the cult of Drig, and surprise, surprise, also cult of Salil. These totems 
uh, you're going to kill three or four monsters that will give you that. So each one of these is worth about 300 reputation with all of the witch cults. So if you're not maxed out with them already, uh, it's definitely worth doing some of these, assuming you can kill them, to get your reputation up. Right, so I've just finished another um, Eldritch Totem, and uh, I've got a second Beast Caller's Talisman. So we're going to take that, and we're going to head back to town, and see if I can't flip it to another piece. I think I have two Talismans and a set of shoulders, so let's go back to Devil's Crossing. And with the magic of editing, we are back in normal difficulty, and we're going to flip this until we get... Um, well, I definitely don't have the helmet, so now I have the helmet, which means I have three pieces of the Beast Caller's set. Okay, and uh, we've just hit another pair of goals reach, so that is four pieces of the goals set. Um, I will have to flip these, but uh, we are done with goals, so now we just need a few more... Let's turn the loot back on. Um, a few more pieces, and we should be good. Alright, we're back to normal. Let's see how many times it takes to get the... Uh, the mark. So, one, nope, two, yeah, there we go. Alright, goal set complete. Lovely. Something I missed for quite a while is that uh, we were at Honored with all three of the Witch Cults. So I went and bought the Ritz for them, and I'm going to eat those now. That should speed up the rest. Alrighty, so I was doing some more totem farming, and I found me a Moosey. So, uh, let's go say hi to him. Let's, uh, let's see if we can kill him. Um, before I get too far into it, the only change I've made since I hit level 100 was these gloves, uh, which is more or less a little bit of piercing resistance and health on the pets, and um, and the healing proc for the player. So let's uh, let's go say hi to Moosey. Um. Oh, that's right, he comes back, doesn't he? You gotta kill him twice. Alright, here we go. Kinda halfway expecting to just be dead out of nowhere. Oh, we got him. Formidable Moosey's Pauldrons of the Wolf. Alright, I'll show what's in the, uh, the Nemesis chest, because I know a lot of people want to see the loot. A few friends to kill first. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, spell Shop Tome and Spell Scourge Bulwark, and that's it. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The gloves have finally dropped. Okay. Okay, so that is the gloves with the elemental conversion to Aether for the pets, uh, which I believe means I'm very close to being able to make this a more purple build. Um, I think I'm missing one piece of the Beast Caller's set, and then we'll be good to go. Alrighty, just got this drop for the Mog Dragon's Arda blueprint. This is kind of like the generic all pet builds can use this kind of relic. It's not the one I want to go with, but it is a good relic nonetheless. I will try and craft this. So, yeah, Mog Dragon's Arda in the bank. Well, I'll be damned. Uh, looky what just dropped for me. Uh, Wraithbound of Cage Souls. This is one of the ever elusive triple rares. But this is even rarer because it has two uh, rare affixes that also match the uh, the MI base. So this is pet prefix pet pet MI and pet suffix. Um, this could be better if the um, cage souls rolled with um, light fiend instead of. Uh, Hellhound, and uh, perhaps Wanderers or something would have been better than Wraithbound, um, just because plus two to Reap Spirit is its not something I'm planning on using. Um, but that is a, a triple rare pet 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 item, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick that up. I may end up using that. Alrighty, so I have made the switch over to the Beast Caller set. I'm using the full Beast Caller set. I'm still using Aether Reach and a Warden's Judgment to convert all of my damage to Aether. Um, so this is the first summoner I've had at level 100 that's lived long enough to farm a complete set. And um, mm, not sure I'm impressed, to be honest. So 
we've traded three skeletons uh, for one additional um, Briarthorn. We traded six points out of ray skeletons. So these skeletons that we have are now, there's less of them, they're six points weaker. Um, and because we've had to swap out the Ascended Cowl, we now go back to summoning three at a time. Um, I'm questioning whether it's actually worth keeping them at all at this point. Um, they do damage, but it's nowhere near what it was. And so in exchange, we've got an additional Briarthorn, um, which is good. It definitely seems to be killing bosses a bit faster. Uh, but not that much faster, and everything else dies considerably slower. So, walking up here, um, I probably should have recorded this, but uh, walking up here, I had to stop to kill packs, whereas before, I would just run past them and they would die while I was walking past. Um, right, let's show you what I mean by killing bosses faster. I'm just going to kill off his first form. Shouldn't really prove much of a challenge. Okay. So his second form is going to be quite easy to kill. And uh, just watch the health bar melt. This definitely does seem to be quicker at killing a boss. Um, but as I said, we've, we've traded a lot of power in the skeletons to get that extra Briarthorn, and I don't think it's worth it. Um, I'm going to swap back to the MI setup, because uh, I don't like this, but um, I'm going to swap back to that and continue collecting items for the goals build, and uh, we'll see how that one goes. And here we have a quick look at the final build for this character. Uh, for those of you who know what you're looking at, this should uh, pretty much tell you what I'm using, but uh, there will be a build a uh, recap and highlight video coming soon, but uh, this will be the end of the Ritualist for now, so thank you all very much for watching, see you on the next one, and goodbye for now.